Today we're going to show you how to enter the nanotechnology era of cataract surgery. We're going to use the Fugo plasma blade to plasma ablate or fragment the molecular lattice of the anterior capsule as we're showing you right here. We take a minute amount of plasma energy along that tip of the Fugo blade and it in effect is absorbed by the molecular lattice just as is a laser beam absorbed by matter and it causes the molecular lattice to fracture. Uh, you see those little opacities there. Those are fragmented little fractions or fragments of um, lens material. They're not coagulation. So here we made a capsulotomy, a beautiful one, and then we used ablation to enlarge it, as you can see. Now, we have this little crescent inferiorly. I'm going to take part of that off. And what we're trying to show you here is that you have enormous capability. You can do things that are impossible with any other technique. We still have a tiny little crescent down below. And I'm going to take the left-handed portion of that crescent. We are literally erasing that, that out. Okay, we've made this capsulotomy. Now we're hydrodissecting. You can see those little ablation path uh, sections that are opaque. Again, that's fragmented or broken pieces of the molecular lattice. The phaco tip goes in, impales the nucleus. We pull the nucleus out of the lens bag, and here with the left hand, I'm injecting viscoelastic behind this nucleus in order to push the capsule back out of the field of action and actually hold the nucleus up in the iris plane. Coming in now with a manipulator and cracker, and I'm cracking the nucleus. I want a even larger crack, so I'm going a little to the right here, grasping the um, nucleus, and again bringing the cracker in, and there we go, crack. We crack the nucleus into large segments. Uh, it's not in lens bag, so you're not going to break the lens bag. The lens bag, if you remember, was pushed way back. Um, we've removed the nucleus, and now we inserted the IOL. We're going to just dial it into place. There is a very healthy capsule rim, and you just, uh, uh, it's rare to see a subluxation of these IOLs. As a matter of fact, watch at the spring action of this IOL. Because you've made a delightfully clean uh, capsulotomy, and this has been documented by academic studies from major universities, you now have an equatorial section in which this IOL is securely fastened. So look at the spring. The spring is the telltale sign of the beautiful fixation of this IOL.